Hello everyone and welcome to this my first Elder Scrolls event guide. Yep, I was completely bamboozled by Morwin's event so I've been struggling my way through it and I thought I would share with you how I eventually unraveled it all. My name's Inwells and welcome to the in crowd. Hello, yes, and welcome back to uh, my first um, ESO guide on the events which we find ourselves roaming the lands of Tamriel, completing quests in order to be rewarded with those elusive event tickets so we can buy berries and change our Indric mounts. So within Morwen, there are two pre-quests that you need to complete in order to get those elusive daily quests so you can start gaining your event tickets. One of them is called the Morag Tong quest and the other one is called the Ashlander quest. So the first one, the Morag Tong one, you actually get by going over to your collections and accepting the quest underneath the story tab where it says Morrowind. This will take you to the outside of Vardafell, um, of the main city in Vardafell, sorry, where you can actually follow the quest. Now, initially what this enables you to do is watch a, a wonderful yellow glowing woman appear and sort of like send her blessings down. You then go off to a local dungeon and or delve and you quickly discover various items in there before returning to Vivek himself and actually engage with conversation with both him and his counsellor. After that, you go and rescue some people who are trapped underneath fallen rubble and then you get the blessing stone and go back to Lord Vivek. Then you see what I consider to be the best part of this quest, a revolving table that summons up a ritual. After that, you will be rewarded with the opportunity to go to the local um, po um, poster where there are people wanting um, people to sort of like help with the quest. And this will allow you to gain your first daily. So the current event under the shadow of the Red Mountain runs from the 7th of um, February until the 18th of February. And during this time, we are going to be exploring the land of Vardafell. Now, as I'm riding around Vardafell, I'd just like to remind you that during this Under the Shadow of the Red Mountain event, um, there will be double drops from all the resource nodes, including jewelry um, seams, hurrah, and double um, drops from all the bosses, including the ones in the Halls of the Fabric Trial, Fabrication Trial, and double rewards from all the daily quests within the zone. So it's worth getting out there and doing a a bit of questing. Now, if you are participating in the event purely for the event tickets, then you can get one event ticket from completing the World Boss Daily, and you can complete that each day, and one event ticket from um, the first Delve Daily quest as well. So you can actually get two event tickets per account every day, with a total of possible of 24 if you've managed unlike me, to actually start at the beginning and complete all the quests every day. Now, if you haven't got Morrowind, you can actually buy it. Um, you can get it from the Crown Store. It's actually, for this period, 50% discount, and you can get it for 1,750 crowns. Hurrah! Yeah, in addition to this, you can get the Morrowind Collector's Pack bundle that will be on the sale for 1,050 crowns. That's also a 50% discount. And you get extra goodies from there, like the Dwarven War Horse, the dwarf, the pet dwarven spider, the bear skin summoning um, bear, which is, um, sorry, the bear grey slate skin bear, which is a fantastic pet, and also some PvP taunts and the outfit style Morag Tong. But this does not allow you to have the warden. 
Now, as, as for the Ashlander daily quest, you can see here that I'm running from one side of Vardafell almost to the other since my um, Magicka Sorcerer was had not been to Vardafell before. But you need to head over to the Aldrun camp. OK, it's just located west of the Red Mountain. And there you will start a quest that involves you um, actually completing the request of a guy called Dreleth Hyron. Okay, yes, there's a variety of quests for to do in order to get this completed, including collecting a whole load of items. And I must say, it took me ages to figure out that to get the weapon item, you actually have to loot the um, um, monsters or well the tribe that you kill so don't be as silly as me do continue to loot then you go back and there's a wonderful little speech and you will be able to um, actually engage and come um, the second part of the quest you might have to do a bit of a run because you need to go to the way shrine that is by a camp called the Ushiluka camp yeah yeah, the, the name somewhere around you can find it there you'll find somebody sat on a stone or a rock talk to him and then you'll go back to the original quest camp that you started out with the ashlander quest and there we'll reveal the two dailies for you to do so I hope you've enjoyed my first guide for Elder Scrolls Online. If you have, then please consider to like, comment or subscribe. If you have any questions, then please put them down in the comments below. Until next time, I'd just like to remind each and every one of you to be who you are and say what you think. Because the people who mind don't matter and the people who matter don't mind. Have fun, guys, and I will catch you all later. And until then, happy ESOing. See ya. Bye.